So I just wanted to pick up after um, what we did last week with um, doing the multiplane. The multiplane is your sort of intro to what we call 3D scene planning. Um, and so this week we'll pick it up with um, moving on from multiplane to doing more of a 3D scene by rotating 2D layers in 3D space and, um, and actually doing a 3D camera move at the end of this. So let's get ahead, go ahead and get started with that. So this is something that can only be done in Animate Pro and Harmony, but um, just so you know, we also have the ability to rotate planes in space. So this is more useful, um, less so in, in the case of when you're doing something that's like a, um, something that's a, a landscape scene. A landscape scene, you probably want to keep everything parallel to your camera all the time. But sometimes you might want to do something like you might want to draw a building. So let's do this. Let's add a new layer. Uh, let's just call this wall one. So um, let's say, for example, um, I'll just draw a building here. And uh, I'll just bring that back to a regular, regular old pencil line, no opacity texture. Whoops. And I'll lower the um, thickness of my line a little bit, make it easier for us to see what's going on there. Okay, and then now if I do the same thing here, and let's bring that one down as well. Okay, so let's just, I can use my shift and arrow keys to um, move elements over in um, increments. So then I can do command C or control C, control V to copy and paste, and then I can move those guys over a little bit, copy and paste again, and then move that, those guys over a little bit, and then I can take all three windows here, and I can just center those, center those up a little bit. And then when they're centered, I can copy and paste those guys, move them down. This is my quick building method, which I think works pretty well. And then once you have all those guys centered, at this point, I might just want to take the um, take the corners of this building that I drew here and shift and arrow key those guys down a little bit just to give myself a bit extra room. And then I can take my paint unpainted tool and I'll just color in the walls. So let's say the walls are going to be gray. And then I'll color in the windows and let's make the windows like a kind of lighter color there. Paint unpainted to fill those guys in. So now I've got this building done, um, or I've got one wall of the building done, and uh, let's move this um, frame there back to the beginning. Um, and I do have a camera move on this, so I'll just turn off the camera move for the moment because I don't want to see it right now. And then I'll hit F5 to extend my scene. So now I can take this wall here and I can duplicate the wall, duplicate the selected layer. And with the selected layer duplicated, now you can go in there with your advanced animation tools and you can do some uh, rotations and stuff on this but if you really want to rotate this guy in space you've got to double click on the layer and enable 3D so this is the thing that's only in Animate Pro and Harmony you, once you click enable 3D now you have the ability to go in there and rotate this guy so if you want to rotate it precisely 90 degrees then you can go in there on that value there that you've got and you could just um, select that guy so actually, let me do that a bit um, in more detail. So I've got that layer there selected. Double click on it. I used my rotate tool just to rotate it in the Y axis only. And then from here now, if you see that where that Y axis is, it's set right now to um, quaternions, by the way, which, which is fine. Um, you can switch it to Euler angles if you're more comfortable with that. Um, and then that just gives you um, the regular um, you know, uh, X, Y, and Z, or, yeah, X, Y, and Z values there. So then you can select all of that, go minus 90, and now you've got exactly a 90-degree rotation on that. So now all you have to do is um, reposition that wall in space um, so that it's intersecting those other corners. This might be a good uh, chance here to use your perspective view. So Command and Option or Control and Alt in your perspective view is going to help you to line those guys up there. If you do have the original wall layer centered on the drawing grid, it's a little bit easier to get these guys lined up um, because when it's centered on the drawing grid, then um, you just have to rotate it 
in space and, and move it over the exact length of the of that guy there. But just to show you in a um, quick, quick way here. So let's pretend that that is the most perfect building you've ever seen. Uh, let me take this one here again and I'll just remove that keyframe on there because it looks like I created a keyframe. Um, remove my keyframe all the way here if I want to and F5 to extend the exposure there. Okay, so I'll take this wall now and I'll duplicate this wall. And now from this wall, I could just move this guy over. And if you want to have a wall that you have a door on it, you can always like duplicate a wall um, like this one, let's say, and enable 3D on this one. And then I could move this one forward like so. Um, and then I could always go in there and I could uh, remove a window and make a, make a door. So if I go back into my drawing view, let's just say, for example, I'll remove all that stuff there. I'll, I'll you know, select it with my select tool. And um, let's see what's going on here. There we go. I can select it with my select tool and hit delete. So I'll delete my window out of there. And I can always fill that in, fill that uh, gap in there first. And then I can go in again and um, D for dropper, uh, make my door down there. And I could have a smaller window up there if I want for consistency's sake. And if I'm really uh, kind of OCD a little bit, then I can line these guys up so that they look like they match. And then I can paint this. Um, now I can't use paint unpainted anymore because there's stuff painted there already, so I'll have to use my regular paint bucket. And I'll just add one more um, for my door, which I'll just make a black door there. Okay, so some reason there's this area here. There we go. They didn't want to paint. All right. So now I've got my building, and um, you know if I rotate around it, there looks pretty good. Um, you can always go ahead and add a um, a roof and a floor if you want to. Um, I'm not going to bother, but if you did want to bother, actually maybe I will bother. Um, I think it's a little bit easier when you do this still to duplicate your layer, and the reason why is because now you have a reference for the exact size of the of the square that you need. So for example, if you go in there now um, and you want to take your rectangle tool there or your square tool or whatever have you, if you hold down shift it does a perfect square and then you can line it up with the um, existing walls or ceiling there. And I think I had the uh, width of the line slightly wider when I was doing this ceiling so I might just make that match a bit. And so that way you have a more precise measurement of what you need, sorry, what you need it to be. So then you can go back there and take the rest of your drawing and delete it and then just color this in, let's say, with the same color as the walls. And now you've got your roof. And so then I could go in my camera view here and um, enable 3D on this guy. And now I can take my transform tool and I can actually rotate this in space. And since I want to rotate it um, by a specific amount, and uh, actually since I've done it in this view, I kind of want to rotate it in the red axis. But since I want to do a specific amount, I'll just double click on that and figure out which axis I'm trying to rotate there. So I'm trying to rotate this one, so I'll select that and then I'll just make this 90 exactly. And now I can go back to my view here, and I can uh, move it up. Let's see here. And you can use your top and side views as well for this, but I'm just using everything in the, in the perspective view because it's kind of fast and, and easy. Um, and also, you might want to look at the top and or side view at the same time as you're looking at that view. So in this case, I want to look at my top view probably or my side view first just to line up that there. And I can go to my top view and I can line it up down here. 